also be increased. When such disasters strike, members of the disaster task force are always on the alert. The mayor of the Carnifing municipality, among others, shared his thoughts. There is a task force that is on right now that comprises KMC, the Ministry of Works, the, uh, uh, that's the National Law Authority, uh, the National Disaster Agency, and the Office of the President. So presently we are, we are working on to, in fact, if you can see, the President is out. You know, we're moving from sport to sport to check on how best we can come about. This rain, this, this two days rain, days rain honestly, uh, is, uh, it is unprecedented because for a very long time we don't experience this type of rain. These and many other disaster spots were visited by some members of the state machinery, manifesting how government prioritizes disasters. What temporal decision will authorities take in addressing the plight of residents of this area? The possible answer for now is to close down the bridge until the water recedes before repair works begin. The moment that we learned about the problem that this bridge had, we are all here to mobilize and to see what can be done to address the danger, the immediate danger that is poses. And that's why the National Road Authority is also here as a team. First measure is to close the bridge so that it will, traffic will not use it. And then what we have decided is, with God's permission, once the water subsides, then the National Road Authority, in tandem with the committees at the KMC, will immediately see what we can do to make it motorable. But temporarily, the intention is to close the bridge. It is a dangerous scene, judging from the speed at which water is flowing. However, until the water subsides and repair works commence, this is the message, especially for residents of the area. As it is now, it's really dangerous. The water is flowing at a speed. Um, which is really, which can easily erode and can easily drown, you know, of kids very easily. So we want to appeal to everybody to be mindful of the situation. As of now, we have cutting off the area and we are, of course, putting barriers for vehicular traffic, you know, not to be penetrating this, uh, the, uh, the area for the, for the time being. At the Tifa Garage Sukuta Bridge, the picture is one of water overflowing into nearby compounds. This man who has been living in the area for the past 15 years said he has lost virtually all his property to the floods. I have been here more than 15 years. I have never seen a rain, a heavy rain like this. And also because of the fact that the uh, government was able to provide a very good bridge here, the canal they dug so that water will flow through it, the embankment is too low. It cannot accommodate all the water that comes from Sinju area to the bridge here. In the light of that, because of the uh, lowness of the embankment, the water goes into people's compound. Like my, it flows into my compound and other compounds around the bridge here in Bakwate. Sane and family are currently housed in these tents, hoping to get assistance from good Samaritans. Elsewhere at the Battle Harding Highway, after the traffic lights leading to Senegambia area, the water levels have completely submerged the tar road. The traffic police have been stationed at both ends of the road to help regulate traffic. Samuel Ba, GRTS. Wow. Two men are in the custody of Caraba police helping investigators get to the bottom of a case revolving around the production of false documents. Modubajan reports the duo, a Gambian and a Nigerian, are alleged to have been involved in this form of organized crime for years now. Two suspects allegedly involved in cybercrime, particularly the production of false documents, were recently apprehended by police officers of the Kairawa police station. Police PRO David Kujabe explains that the duo, a Nigerian and his Gambian accomplice, are buying bars for producing documents without authority. The CID at the Kairaba police station decided to dig deep to find out the source of these false documents and uh, tankered on the 26th of August their efforts paid dividend and they were able to arrest two personnel uh, 
namely Ade, Adeniran Kazim Adewusi, a Nigerian national, and Alaji Jane, a Gambian national, um, resident of Wellingara, and a former employee of the Guarantee Trust Bank. The false documents produced by these men are diverse. As the PRO reveals, they include identity cards, school certificates, bank statements, and false visas. Um, what the police were able to find from their internet cafe, which is KGE Inter Enterprise, located at Latikunda, was plenty. On the table here, we have a lot of documents of various kinds. Here we have documents of forged visas. We have documents of forged residence permits. We even have documents of forged GRA receipts. That is not all. We also have forged documents of bank statements. The police PRO further revealed that they have been receiving complaints of people using false documents, leading to the arrest and charge of such culprits. However, PRO Kujabi stated that his men are continuously on their toes to nab those behind such crimes. Following um, officials of the Gambia Police Force have received complaints of people tendering false documents, false documents of every kind, false documents that range from bank statements, school certificates, even police um, certificate of character, um, false documents with letterheads of um, government departments and so on. And this has been very alarming. Usually what the police do is to arrest people who tender this, but we realize that it was not stopping the problem. Even the police are not spared in the organized criminal activities of the two men, as the fake documents they produce include certificate of character purportedly issued by the police. The man's ability of producing counterfeit documents, as Piero Kujabi mentioned, is serious as his list of false papers continue. We have forged documents of the Carnifing Municipal Council, forged documents of mask line, sewing so bills of loading and so on. Okay? False documents of the Gambia Electrical Group, and even false documents of issuance of land and so on. So the situation here is very, very serious. And this thing has been masterminded by just two persons. Now we have long talked about internet fraud, internet crime, cyber crime, and so on. And we see it here at play. The suspects who are former convicts of similar crimes five years ago only received a fine for their criminal activities. The PRO urged the public to be vigilant and report any such activity. So the situation here is very serious and we all need to put hands on deck. Let us collaborate, come out and partner with the police. Come and report your cases no matter how serious they are so that we can arrest this situation as soon as possible. We just can't let it go on the way it is.